what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here we're gonna be talking about a few different horror topics in this video here today we're gonna be talking about texas chainsaw massacre the film that i talked about earlier this year back in february an update on that we're gonna talk about megan 2.0 we're gonna talk about the rest of the strangers trilogy and the collector 3 and scream 7 now starting off here with texas chainsaw massacre the new film, which of course is allegedly going to be titled Texas Chainsaw Legacy, could have an announcement soon since the 50th anniversary of the OG film is in October, I believe, and Production Weekly, shout out to UK, has an official listing for the film finally. If you recall, I first reported on this project back in January on Twitter and then it gained traction from some more reputable outlets. As a refresher, the next installment in the Texas Chainsaw Massacre franchise delves into the tranquil facade of Oasis Oaks. A gated community nestled in f feral or rural Texas. Amidst the meticulously manicured lawns and vigilant security patrols, our protagonist family epitomizes suburban bliss. However, looking just beyond the confines of this idyllic enclave lies an abandoned property, home to the infamous Leatherface and his macabre kin. As chaos descends upon Oasis Oaks, ordinary families are pitted against the savage Sawyers in a harrowing battle for survival, where the lines between good and evil blur in a chilling confrontation of familial horrors. But who is writing the movie? Well, this part comes from an unconfirmed, unconfirmed source, because, of course, this person is from Reddit, as you see here on your screen. What's interesting, though, is they posted this comment eight months ago, which is before I even made a comment about what I was hearing about a new Texas Chainsaw project. They said that they were at a Austin Film Fest writers conference last month and attended a panel with writer Julio Quintana. On that panel, he said he was hired to write a sequel to Netflix's film. So Netflix seems to still be involved in it. Set to release on the 50th anniversary next year. Now, here's the thing. At the time of when he might have said that, this might have been shortly after or even during the writer's strike. And that, of course, seems to have changed. We haven't heard anything about that film coming out this year. But instead of getting it this year, we could get that announcement for the film on the 50th anniversary this year. So just keep your eyes peeled for any Texas Chainsaw Massacre updates in the coming weeks as we get closer to October. Because it seems like the Texas Chainsaw Legacy film is, in fact, a legit project. So the next thing we're going to talk about here is The Strangers Chapter 2 and Chapter 3. So they're having reshoots occur at this moment for the rest of this trilogy from Rennie Harlan. This image from Madeline's Instagram, again, shout out to UK, was how I got put onto the trail and then was able to get confirmation on the reshoots occurring later on. But also, I found out why they're going through these reshoots. One of the reasons is because the identity of the strangers was actually revealed by official social, me social media pages that are associated with this movie and the end credits of chapter one if you pay close attention and know what you're doing when you get on google and start searching and sleuthing they made it fairly easy to figure out who the strangers were by the end of chapter one thanks to the credits and because of now what the social media pages that are associated with the project have posted i don't see how they made such a glaring mistake so that's one reason for the reshoots and for those who noticed two masks in the closet when watching when the lights went out during that one scene and you notice their names appearing in the credits, you were on the right track. Chapter two and chapter three will introduce two new strangers, one named Ghost Skull, who looks creepy from what I can see, and another named Witchface. Now this confirmation came from, came from a very shocking source. So as we all know, Rennie Harlan is directing this trilogy. Rennie Harlan actually has a reality show in Finland about his life and an entire section was recently aired in some episode, I guess, dedicated to his Stranger trilogy. Again, I don't know how or why they even brought that up in this show. It, it just doesn't make any sense to me. A lot of things were confirmed from this show and even some story bits that I have images of it. I just don't want to share it because, again, I guess people in the States aren't supposed to know about it. But it's like, why wouldn't it get over to the States? <laughs> I just don't understand this. But they are going through reshoots because of the fact that. One of the biggest reasons is because they leaked their killers, so they have to retweak that, I guess. Some of them are going to change, not all of them, and just some other reasons related to the film's release. But I'm going to dive into The Collector 3. So The Collector 3 is reportedly back on track, according to a user on Twitter named Brett, who had an interview with Marcus Dunstan to confirm this project finding new life. As exciting as this is, or... Or as exciting as this is, are we starting from scratch or are we using the footage that's already been shot and just finishing the film? I guess we'll have to wait and see on that. 
I haven't watched these two films recently, but I do recall thoroughly enjoying them when I was growing up. Josh Stewart also quoted the tweet with the eyes emoji indicating he's going to return as Arkin. He's also been doing a lot of quote tweeting since that. I think Arkin was his character's name. I could be mistaken, but I'm pretty sure it was Arkin. But if you love the collector's movies, this should excite you. Marcus Dunstan did make these comments, though, to The Direct on the 17th, a website known as The Direct. Said, as about four days ago, the legal elements holding it back were all alleviated. And it's coming back, I can tell you. Shout it loud and proud. The collector is coming back. It is free. It is going to be a barreling fright train for your mind of fear. Yes, we can do it right. So he had some other comments to make, but Marcus Dunstan giving official confirmations and statements about it is as big of a final confirmation we can get on the fact that you're going to get the Collector 3. So if you're someone who loved those first two movies, you have something to look forward to. I just want clarity on now if they're going to be using the footage they already shot before it was shut down or if we're going to start from scratch. My money, on, money is on they're going to start from scratch. Now we're going to jump into Megan 2.0. Megan 2.0 is filming finally. It began sometime over the last few days. We know Gemma and Katie are expected to return, but as a reminder to you guys, Megan 2.0 seems to be taking a Terminator 2 approach, allegedly. The footage Blumhouse released to announce filming indicates Megan is going to be rebuilt, which lines up with the rumored details I shared a few months ago. Megan returns as the help this time for Gemma and Katie, and a new doll named Amelia is the antagonist. These two will square off at some point in the film, and again, Amelia might just be a placeholder name. The actual doll's name could be something completely different. But the two dolls will square off at some point in the film. Ivana Sacknow, a newcomer to the franchise, is rumored to be starring as the Amelia doll. That has not yet been confirmed, but time will tell what is true and what is not true. But the source of the information about there being two dolls is quite credible, and I doubt they're going to just change it around. It seems to be very integral to the story that there's going to be two dolls. So we'll just have to wait and see what aspects of this end up being true. Now we're going to talk about Scream 7. So Scream 7 is slated to film september to december according to production weekly but shout out to uk because you gave me an update on something i'm going to get into at the end of this now when it comes to scream 7 we have no knowledge on anything official besides kevin williamson is directing guy Busick is writing and nev campbell is returning as sydney prescott the last concrete casting news we got let us know that courtney cox was in talks now, if you don't think filming will start in September, I don't blame you. Kevin Williamson also has another project for his TV show, I think, that's supposed to shoot around September, and he's supposed to be on set for that. So we'll see how that even correlates or if that conflicts with his schedule. But I do find it necessary to bring some clarity as to why things are so tight-lipped for those who still want news on Scream 7. Keep in mind a few things. One, Scream 5 was leaked before filming began. Two, Melissa and Radio Silence were followed to a Top Gun 2 screening during filming for Scream 6 by a crazy person. Three, Scream 6 killer footage was leaked. Four, the online response from fans to crew members during the unfortunate dismissal of Melissa Barrera from Scream 7. Now, all of that sounds like viable reasons to keep a lid on your project and not jeopardize the story or anyone's safety because again while you can be upset about certain things harassment and going into illegal activity that is not anything nothing that's transpired has warranted illegal activity i'm just gonna say that flat now when it comes to filming locations shout out to uk big shout out to you production weekly seems to have updated that scream 7 is going to be shooting in atlanta georgia now this has not yet been reported by any reputable trades or anything, but I'm hearing that when it comes to some internal databases, Atlanta is also listed as the shooting location. And in fact, there was a time when Production Weekly had Montreal listed as the shooting location for Scream 6 before Montreal was even confirmed and it ended up being confirmed. So I'm going to go out on a limb and say I think they are going to be shooting in Atlanta. We'll just have to wait and see what all gets confirmed. Let me know what you guys think about these updates down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to all my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.